do backswing positions truly, truly impact your golfing success? And the answer is absolutely not. And I will show you images of pros to free your mind from this problem that so many of us amateurs suffer from. So this was from 1937. This is uh, Ernst Jones' book. He's the guy who talks about feeling the club head, I think. He's the club head feel guy. So this is on page nine, uh, 79. I got this book because I wanted to see uh, how different he might have described things compared to Hogan, who wrote his book 20 years, 20 years later. So let's look right here. So this is uh, Jones telling us, efforts during the swing to concern the conscious mind with any one of numberless details of the outward appearance of someone else or yourself must inevitably inevitably interfere with subconscious control of the swing. And he's absolutely right. But what 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 we know now what actually happens, this 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 thinking about positions actually disrupts the motor program. And the reason why it is because the motor program for the golf swing causes one to set up and then hit the ball within two seconds. Top of the backswing to impact, one-third of a second. That is so fast. It is such a fast, complex, psychophysiologic event that involves, what, every muscle in the human body and multiple joints. You can't think through that plotting, like, put my club here, put my club there. It's ridiculous. It Ultimately, what it does is it makes golfers neurotic. So when you think about the initial backswing position, we're all told you got to do it this way. You got to take it back, toe up, keep on the toe, the toe line. You know, don't take it out here. You know, don't suck it inside. You got to do it. Got to do it. Do it this way. Well, what about this guy? He didn't do it that way. He's pretty successful. What about Jimmy Bruin, who I showed you previously was like this? Was the Bobby Jones of Ireland broke Bobby Jones' record at? Uh, at, at, at St. Andrews, and he had a loop and swing just like Matthew Wolf. What about this guy? Major champion winner, sucks it inside, and then lifts it late off, and at the top of the swing, he brings the, 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 uh, the club head more toward the sky. So we're all told we shouldn't do this, we shouldn't do this, we need to do this. They make such an issue of this, they're actually... Uh, websites and videos you can see. This is a very bad takeaway position. Well, this is what he's doing. You can see it's not as bad as what this guy is showing. Who's, he's exaggerating, but here they're showing this is what you must do. Complete nonsense. If Ray Floyd doesn't do it, if Matthew Wolf, and Jimmy Bruin, and all the rest of the guys didn't do it, who cares? How about the top of the backswing? Well, would you teach someone to swing like this? Now, now if this guy was standing too close to the ball for his rotational movement skills, and he swung from his toes, he would hit horrific golf shots. And what would they blame? they blame his backswing position as opposed to the fact that he was too close to the ball for his rotational movement skills and he swings from, it, from his toes. Because lots of amateurs bring it back like this, but they don't have the dynamic movement skills that the pros have. So here's what you need to do. You need to forget about positions. I mean, within reason, right? Figure out your ideal setup distance from the ball based upon your rotational movement skills so you don't stand up through impact. You do not plop above the line at impact, and you maintain your spine angle through impact. That's what you need to do. Once you do that, the rest of it kind of falls into place as long as you learn to dynamically swing from your heel. So both of these topics I discuss extensively in all of my videos and write about it in great detail in the Amateur Golfer's Dilemma book. 50 pages on how to dynamically or learn to dynamically swing from your heel. So easy to get and you can see if you've got whatever Kindle deal this is, very reasonable. So you should check out the book. Go to Amazon, look inside and see if the topics suit your needs.